This is an amazing shoulder warm up that you can do before any overhead lifting. Get up and get down, get up and get hey guys, today I'm with Olympian Mirabai Chinu of India, and I'm gonna bring you through a four step shoulder warm up routine that you can do before any overhead lifting. You're gonna start off in this T position. Now, from here, she's using two and a half pound plates. You do not need to go heavy with this. You're just gonna pick the hands up off the ground, hold for two seconds and then drop back down. You're gonna start off with 10 reps in this position. Now, your focus is just on the hands. Don't over cue retracting the shoulder blades. But what you're doing in this position by going out to the side like this is really focusing on the muscles of the back side of the shoulder, shoulder complex that are often under facilitated and under primed, especially with lifting overhead, which can lead to some problems in technique and inefficiencies and something also that can lead to an over accumulation of uh, force on the front side of the shoulder, elbows and wrists. So priming the back side like this prior to lifting is key for just making sure that you're in the best positions possible and allowing you to lift as safe as possible. In this posture, we're working on the rhomboids, the mid trap and a little bit of low trap. But again, 10 reps, two second holds, making sure that you're not over cueing retraction, but just lifting the hands up, pausing for two seconds and back down. After 10 reps, you're then going to go to step two, which is going to be elbows at a 90 degree position. And what we're focusing on right here is external rotation. So again, you wanna start light with this. For a lot of people, this is gonna be pretty fatiguing. You're going to pick those hands off the ground as high as possible, keeping the elbows down. So we're externally rotating and holding for, again, two seconds, 10 reps. Now in this posture right here, you're gonna be working the rotator cuff muscles of your infraspinatus and teres minor. These are the muscles that help externally rotate the shoulder. This is especially important for any athlete that wants to lift overhead with proper technique and stability of the shoulder. Many times people will prime external rotation only below 90 degrees, which doesn't necessarily carry over to improved mechanics and stability when you go overhead. So making sure that you're working external rotation in this elevated position will help you make sure that the stability you're creating is actually going to carry over to improve mechanics overhead. The reason we're also doing this while laying flat on the ground is so that you don't cheat and use other muscles that we're not trying to actually contribute to the motion. So if you did this in a maybe bent over position, you could get a lot of other shoulder muscles involved. Whereas here, you really have to concentrate on using the right muscles to perform the motion. All right, is that 10? Okay. Step three, we're actually going to just pick the entire arm up in this 90 degree position. So she's going to, in this posture, pick the whole hand up, two second hold, again, 10 reps, and then back down. So we're picking the arms up, we're abducting the shoulder while re remaining in that externally rotated position. This is a little bit of a different lever arm than that very first one. So it's gonna be a little bit different on the back of the shoulder. But again, 10 reps for a two second hold. Now in this posture, it's important to make sure that your forearms stay parallel to the ground. Many people, when they do this at first, they may just pick the elbows up and then the shoulder dumps back into internal rotation. So we wanna make sure that we remain in that externally rotated position as you come back. So looking from side to side, make sure that your forearms stay parallel to the ground and you'll really start feeling this in the back of the shoulders. Again, you're working the mid trap, the rhomboids, all those muscles at the back of the shoulder and the rotator cuff priming that before we then allow the bigger muscles to perform the motion of the press, jerk or snatch. Is that 10? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> As you can see, this is fatiguing even with two and a half pounds. So this fourth step, we'll just call it a snow angel on your stomach. You're gonna start above the head, pick the hands up. As you can see, we're palms down. She's going to come down. Once she crosses that 90 degree plane, she's going to internally rotate, go palms up, come behind her back without trying to touch her butt, keep the hands up. Very good. And then we're going to reverse it. So she's going to come back out. Before she hits 90 degrees, she's going to externally rotate and then go all the way above the head without the hands hitting the ground. This is the difficult part and the reason why we're doing this on the stomach versus standing. You could cheat and make this much easier if you're standing or even in a bent over position. On your stomach, you can't cheat or else your hands will hit the ground. Couple things that are important with this. As you come up and you start rotating, you're coming from that internally rotated position, 
Keep those shoulders off the ground. You don't want those shoulders to dump forward as you're coming out of that internally rotated position. So you want that shoulder blade position to be fairly high off the ground and all the rotation is just coming from the actual humerus rotating in the socket. Not a lot of shoulder blade movement as well. With this one, because we're not doing a hold, you're just going to do five to 10 reps. Now, if you can do 10 reps in a row, it's amazing if you need to take a break halfway through, this one can be pretty fatiguing. But again, we're working that shoulder through a full arc range of motion, also working rotation in ways that are often not hit when we're talking about uh, maximizing the shoulder's capabilities for your control and your stability. So this is gonna be working all those muscles again on the backside that are often underutilized and under facilitated. And one of the weak links that a lot of people have that when you prime prior to lifting are gonna help you maximize your technique, your control, and decrease your risk for injury. This is something that I've uh, recently put into Mirabai's training program as a warm up for her prior to her lifting. And it's been very helpful to uh, really warm up her shoulder. And as you can tell, this is fatiguing. So two and a half pounds, you do not need to go heavy with this, but these four exercises can be a great shoulder warm up routine, especially for anyone that's going to do any overhead lifting, whether that's a press, jerk, or snatch for any of my Olympic weightlifters out there. Hope you guys liked today's YouTube video. Until next time, happy squatting. They say that energy flows where attention goes, so I pay no mind. Why waste my time with all these negative cats scratching? So caught up in their egos, these people live like.